Here on Radio Row, Super Bowl 52, it's a Zach Yelp show right here on Fox Sports 920. The Jersey here with Pro Football Hall of Famer Eric Dickerson. Eric, thank you so much for your time, and how are you? I'm good. How are you? I know you're very close with T.O. You guys do the show together. <laughs> yeah. And I just still don't get it why T.O. is not in the Hall of Fame yet. He has the stats. Oh, he man. should be in. Is he going to get in this week, or is it not going to happen? Let me tell you something. I'm just going to say, like, it's bullshit is what it is. These writers need to stop this nonsense. Um... He should have been in the first ballot. I mean, look, if you, you might not like a guy. It's guys that I don't like that I played against. Uh, but they if they were those kind of guys that deserve in the Hall of Fame. It's, it is what it is. You, you, those guys should be in. And, and I just don't understand why how these writers hold these grudges against guys because this is football. It's not a popularity contest. Theo's a great player. He deserved to be in, and he should get in this time. What do you think happens with Randy Moss? Because if they made T.O. wait, you can make the argument that then they should make Randy Moss wait. You know, and he shouldn't have to wait either. He shouldn't have to wait either. I mean, you know, it's, it's a lot of great players out there that should be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, one I got to think of is Dexter Manley. I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, you're talking about guys, you play against certain players. You know who can play and you know who can't play. You know, it's guys that's in the Hall of Fame. It's questionable. I mean, I just say it. Some guys, like, hey, wow, really him? <laughs> but, I mean, the guys that I just mentioned, you know, T.O., Randy Moss, Dexter Manley, those guys, it's, it's no doubt those are Hall of Famers because when you say Hall of Fame, you think of a guy that you could change a game. T.O. was that guy. He was a game changer. You look at when you got in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, what memories come back to mind when that day did come to you? Well, you know, I was in Miami when I got in. It was, it was, it was, a, it was a good feeling. Uh, it was uh, something I never thought about, honestly. I never thought about being in the Hall of Fame until my time came around. But I think about players who, who Ricky Jackson was the guy. When I'm getting my, I think it was in my after my second season. He said, "Eric, if you keep playing like you playing, man, you are gonna make the Hall of Fame." And I didn't know what the Hall of Fame was. I was gonna say he, he explained it to me. And uh, it's it's an honor. It really is an honor when you go there for the first time. That's the first time I ever went when I got inducted to go there and see the guys that have played the game, the legends of the game, the guys who actually made the Hall of Fame and made the NFL. It's such an honor to be inducted and being mentioned in those guys, you know, in the, in the presence of them because there's so many great players in the Hall of Fame. Give me a little bit of your thoughts on this matchup coming up. We're in Eagles uh, territory being in South Jersey and Philadelphia. Eagles and Patriots, <laughs> what do you think this game comes I'm gonna down I'm going to say this much. Here. First, I'm not a fan of either team. <laughs> either team. But I'm an NFC guy. Why is that? Uh, the Eagles, they were dirty back in the day, and y'all fans, y'all got the men, y'all fans. Woo, y'all got some hard fans. Hey, there's some really. passionate fans. Oh, passionate. You call it passionate when they got the jailhouse under the, under, under the <laughs> and stadium? That was at the vet. That doesn't yeah, happen it still, anymore. It still had it. <laughs> uh, you know, we used to go to Billy. They used to tell us, keep your helmets on. <laughs> you know, keep your helmets on, keep your head down. I'm like, why? You say, you'll find out. Uh, I'll say this much here. I feel like that uh, people are overlooking the Eagles. You know, I know they're putting too much, they put a lot of emphasis, and they should. Or Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and the Patriots because they've done it before. They've won, you know, what, five Super Bowls? Five Super Bowls. This could be their sixth. Been there eight times. But I just feel like the Eagles are going to win this game. I'm going back to when I, I picked the Giants to beat them in 2008. Uh, and I said, I didn't even want the points. I said, I just feel like the Giants are the better football team. They're going to win the football game. I think they're hungry. And I feel like the Eagles are the same thing. I think people have kind of overlooked them, disrespected them. I mean, it's a great football team. They really are. I mean, I know they're missing their main guy, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is a second-year player. He's having a great year, but there's no guarantees that he would have been the guy to lead them to that Super Bowl. I mean, now Nick Foles is the quarterback. You know, Nick has had a resurgence of a great a, a year that, you know, at one point I think he thought about quitting football. And I know why, playing with the Rams at that time. But he's had a, he's, a, he's, he's led the team to the playoffs. Um, I like the Eagles. I do. I just like that. I think as a football team, I think they're the better football team. Quarterback, most definitely a good Tom Brady. I think coaching, most of the Patriots. How about the position of running back now? Because both of these teams, they go running back by committee. There's not a bell cow back on this, on either of the squad. You know, I think you'll find in, in this game, this kind of game, if you find a guy that's hot, you you, you ride it. You know, if, if a guy is hot, if, uh, what's the other back name? Um, but Garrett Blunt. Yeah, Garrett Blunt. Corey Clement. And, and, and he played for the Patriots. Yeah, yeah, I got three backs. You know, I feel like if whoever gets, whoever gets hot, you play them. The Patriots are not a running football team. This is a passing football team. So, you know, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not worried about their running game. Y'all have very aggressive defense. And one thing about the Eagles defense, going back to when I played, the Reggie, Reggie White and all those guys, and Jerome Brown, they hit the quarterback. And, and y'all will hit a quarterback. And quarterbacks don't like to get hit. So I think that I'm going with the Eagles. Who's your favorite back right now in the game? And also, what are your thoughts on Saquon Barkley out of Penn State? Well, it's just so Saquon Barkley. I think, I think, man, I think he's a he's an exciting player, you know. But I always say this: sometimes it doesn't translate to the pros. I hope it does, you know. He looked like he could play professional football. Even when I came in, I wasn't sure, you know, what I was going to do. Um, 
for is the running backs. I mean, well, my guy most definitely is Todd Gurley. You know, Todd is, is, is one of the top backs in the National Football League. Ezekiel Elliott, another you know, great back. And Le'Veon Bell. I think those are the three top guys, I think, when you think about running backs in the National Football League. And that way you got to go, you know what I mean? And Kareem Hunt came out of nowhere. I forgot about Kareem Hunt. And the fact that they didn't run the football yeah, more yeah, with him after the, Travis Kelsey yeah, went yeah, down. I don't yeah. know what the heck Andy Reid's thinking. Hey, yeah, that's, foot, that's football. You know, sometimes it, it's a pass-happy league. It's a pass-happy league. You know, Kareem Hunt is the guy that came out of late draft pick and was third-round pick, I think. And, you know, hey, he's a, he showed that he could play, play the position.